गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यू एन मेहता इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च सेंटर इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग वीकली अकादमिक सेशन फॉर कॉन्टीन्यूस कार्डियक एडिकेशन टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज दी अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन इन पीरियट्रिक कार्डियक सर्जरी विच वुड बी टेकन अप बाय डॉक्टर जगीशा पुजारा मैम हु इज प्रोफेसर इन कार्डियक एनस्थीजा हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर जगीशा पुजारा from UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology and Research Center i am going to speak about ultrafiltration in pediatric cardiac surgery children undergoing heart surgery require cardiopulmonary bypass and are subject to fluid overload due to increase in the prime volume relative to the circulatory volume especially in the small babies hemodilution which also affects the coagulation system electrolyte balance and the systemic inflammatory response that is from non endothelial surface of the cpb circuit exposure increase in total body volume causes low plasma oncotic pressure aggravate the tissue edema capillary leak syndrome impaired pulmonary and the renal function and ultimately yielding morbidity and mortality organs which are mainly affected are heart lung and the brain to overcome this increase in the total body water in children we use the iv diuretics cyanotropic agent peritoneal dialysis etc ultra filtration is achieved through the filtration of the water across the semi permeable membrane using the energy derived from a hydrostatic pressure gradient ultra filtration being used to manage blood volume certain electrolytes hemoglobin proteins reduce the mediators that initiate the surge uh, systemic inflammatory response system <clears throat> syndrome uh, history uh, part in 1950 thomas graham a scottish chemist pre- presented a paper entitled on oncotic pressures which described the process of separating substance using the semi permeable membrane parchment paper 1855 adolf fick used the colloidal cellulose trinitrate derivative derivatives as the diffusion membrane 1913 john abel first reported dialysis for that blood circulate outside the animal and require to prevent the clotting he discovered anticoagulant heriodin from the crushed leech head to prevent the coagulation after world war 2 in 1940s william cough built an artificial kidney employing the regenerated cellulose membrane cellophon termed as the cough brinkham kidney <clears throat> Leonard Skaggs and Jack Leonard developed the flat or parallel plate dialyzer in 1947. In 1956, Richard developed hollow fiber dialyzer design in which blood fo- flowed through the hollow fibers and the dialyzer followed uh, around the flowed around the hollow fibers. This model commercially available in 1970s and the type of dialyzer and the ultra filtrator widely used currently are of this type. basic of ultra filtration that is hemo filtration it is a convection process in which patient's blood is filtered across a porous membrane allowing the small molecules with a mass of less than pore size of the filter to be removed by the transmembrane pressure gradient no dialyzer in is required to opposite the side of the membrane water diffuses due to the hydrostatic pressure creates a solute concentration gradient across the membrane solute diffuses across the membrane equalizing the concentration on both the side that is convection or the solute drag tmp can either be systemic pressure on the, of the patient or the negative suction applied to the system at the effluent side of the dialyzer which augment the gradient here in figure we can see convection figure a showing blood component is pressurized and water from the blood moves across the membrane while b showing reserves in the blood in one, on one side of the membrane and water on the other side which creates a solute concentration gradient uh, between the two component uh, compartments and uh, c showing the small molecules uh, pillar weight solutes so diffuses across the membrane and equalizing the concentration gradient the same Uh, in the figure mechanism of ultra filtration during ultra filtration blood passes through a bundle of the hollow fibers made of the microporous membrane the hollow fibers are of 180 to 200 micrometer in diameter and the pore size is of the 5 to 10 nanometer the bundle of these hollow fibers is encased in a polycarbonate cell here in figure you can see that is blood flow through these hollow fibers of the ultra filtrator also called the hemoconcentrator it creates a positive pressure within the hollow fibers 
the trans uh, the pressure gradient between the blood and the ultra filtrate is called the transmembrane pressure tmp is equal to blood inlet pressure plus uh, blood outlet pressure divided by 2 plus the negative pressure applied on the effluent side of the hemoconcentration to avoid the membrane rupture tmp must not exceed the 500 to 600 mm fg Small molecules like sodium potassium chloride are easily filtered whereas albumin and fibrinogens are retained. Factors affect the filtration are membrane permeability which are decided by the pore size, membrane material, membrane thickness. It also have affected by the blood flow, transmembrane pressure gradient, percentage of the solute which is protein bound and membrane permeability is described by ultrafiltration coefficient. Uh, Ultrafiltration coefficient is the rate of water removal to the TMP for a particular device at a constant blood flow. Typical rates are 2 to 50 ml, ml per hour per millimeter Hg. Uh, ultrafiltration coefficient increase with increase in the TMP, increase in the blood flow and lower hematocrit and lower plasma protein concentration. The figure showing the same, the blood flow also affects the ultrafiltration and the hemostatic pressure. Ultrafiltration removes plasma water and diffusible solute in equal concentration, thus overall concentration of the diffusible solute is not affected. Solute more, more than 65 k Dalton are not removed by the ultrafiltration. Cellular elements, plasma proteins and protein bound are not removed as they are bigger size and so they get concentrated on the side. Shewing coefficient, the shewing coefficient is the ratio of ultrafiltrate solute concentration to plasma solute concentration. Solute filtration depends on molecular weight of the solute, solute compa compared with the pore size uh, proportion of the solute that is protein bound and the surface charge of the solute. It ranges from 0 to 1. 1 is suggestive that the ultrafiltrate solute concentration and the plasma solute concentration are equal and the solute passes freely across the membrane. Zero indication uh, that uh, none of the solute passes through the membrane. All the small molecular wells, uh, weight solutes uh, that are not protein bound are easily removed by the ultrafiltration and have a swing coefficient of the 1. Generally the solutes more than 50,000 Daltons uh, does not pass through the membrane pores. Like example is the albumin it is of 65,000 Daltons and they cannot pass from the filtered membrane. Mm, dialysis it is a process in which blood is separated from the crystalloid solution or the dialyzed by a semipermeable membrane. A solute concentration gradient exists between the blood and the dialyzed causes the solute transfer by the diffusion from the higher to the lower concentration. It is indicated in the managing metabolic acidosis, electrolyte imbalance, fluid overload, uremia, etc. Uh, same in the figure, dialysis is a uh, diffusion and passive movement of the solute across the semi-permeable membrane, down concentration gradient and good for the small molecules, weight size uh, substance. While ultrafiltration is uh, by the convection, solute plus fluid removal across the semi-permeable membrane, down pressure gradient, solvent drag is uh, there and better for removal of the fluid and the medium size of the molecule. Uh, technique of ultrafiltration, there are four major techniques, conventional ultrafiltration, cough, modified ultrafiltration, MOF, zero balance, Z buff and combination techniques. Coming to cough, it is a con uh, convective process traditionally performed during the rewarming phase of the CPB uh, to reduce the excess total body water and the edema. Post oxygenator, some blood is sunted through the ultrafiltration membrane extracting discardable filtrate by the hydrostatic pressure, membrane pore size is of 65 k delta uh, and concentrated blood is then returned for, to the reserve, venous reservoir. Drawback of the, the cough is uh, volume removed lead to the volume depletion in the venous reservoir. Sometimes it causes hypovolemia. These limitations uh, necessitates the intermittent use of the cough, slower the rate of the volume removal and requirement of the additional fluid to the CPP circuit which can be counterproductive. Here schematic diagram showing tubing clamp denotes position to exclude Position to exclude the cough from the bypass circuit denotes uh, dotted line denotes the deoxygenated blood. So ven from re venous reservoir blood coming to the venous reservoir from venous side of the heart and it passes through the roller pump oxygenator it passes to the normally in the aorta but uh, when we use the ultrafiltrate this clamp is open and it passes through the ultrafiltrate and filter will be occurred. 
the same figure uh, 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 shows uh, if uh, we use the same volume at the same pressure then uh, when we use the ultra filtration volume will return to the heart will be less if we want to maintain continuous volume same volume then we have to add the volume and the to uh, up to the level when uh, it reaches to the baseline pressure so that filter will not cause a hypovolemia uh, coming to z buff z buff is a modification of the cuff a high hemofilter and flows are maintained throughout the cpp period blood is sent in post oxygenator through an ultrafiltrated membrane returning uh, concentrated blood to the venous reservoir and thus again not isolated from the cpp circuit the volume of ultrafiltrated removed is replaced with the equal volume of the crystalloid either isolate plasma light volume solution or the ring elected or the dialyzed or sodium chloride significantly larger volume of blood can be ultrafiltrated without running into the circuit volume contraction it reduces the concentration of solute in the plasma by means of using a replacement fluid that is absent for the particular solute z buff is also used to manage patient for uh, with the renal insufficiency in lieu of the dialysis reduces ultra uh, urea creatinine and the potassium level the higher the absolute volume of the blood filtered and shows increased mass of cytokine and the noxious substance removed when ultra filtration z buff is used for the uh, hyperkalemia purpose we use uh, there are various solution used uh, for hyperkalemia when we use the normal saline we have to add the bicarbonate uh, to the uh, so that buffer of the bicarbonate will not reduce if we use the plasma light a or linger lactate it contain already magnesium and the, uh, it contain your lactate and the acetate which can be converted in the liver into the bicarbonate so no need to use the bicarbonate but when we use 0.9% sodium chloride for the hyperkalemia treatment we have to use, uh, add the bicarbonate and if patient is already on the diuretics then already there is a uh, sodium uh, less in this and sudden increase in the sodium by the so, uh, 0.9% saline solution with the bicarbonate may cause the 174 roughly mL equivalent of the sodium load and that can causes myelinolysis and causes the demyelination in the pontine and the extra pontine uh, so, uh, tissues which can uh, cause the brain damage Uh, coming to the MAF, MAF is used after the patient is weaned from the CPB, negating the limitations of the maintaining the venous reservoir minimum volume as in the cuff. MAF removes blood directly from the patient flowing through the ultrafiltrator, then directly returns to the concentrated volume to the patient. It was first described and still commonly used as the arteriovenous aorta or arterial to the RA or the venous configuration. Here, blood is pumped retrogradely from the aortic cannula through a hemofilter and through a blood cardioplegia delivery system facility where it is reformed and delivered back to the RA. Concern about the air embolism and coronary and the cerebral still syndrome with this configuration, VMOF was de developed to miti uh, mitigate these effects. MOF targeted the points of 10 to 15 minutes uh, time point or it also target the hematocrit 35 to 40% or depletion of the venous reservoir. Ultrafiltration capacity can be altered by manipulating the flow or the vacuum pressure on the filtered collection. In both the AV and VM of system is isolated from the CPB circuit, blood volume can be independently transfused from the CPB circuit to maintain satisfactory hemodynamics after the weaning from the CPB. Here the MOF schematic AV uh, MOF tubing clamps are engaged, uh, tubing clamps are uh, engaged to exclude the uh, bypass circuit after the patient is weaned or to allow the MOF dotted line denotes the deoxygenated blood. Here clamp is removed when um, we start the MOF and from the cardioplegia cannula blood passes through the roller pump, ultrafiltrator, uh, filtration, uh, uh, filter the volume and the mediators and then the rest of the volume coming into the venous side of the system. Uh, here in venous to arterial MOF, uh, tubing clamps 
engaged to exclude the bypass circuit after the patient is weaned to allow the MAF dotted line de uh, denotes the deoxygenated blood. There are two clamps here to exclude the circuit and venous blood coming to the roller pump from the, uh, that to ultrafiltrator volume uh, uh, filtrated and the uh, uh, returning volume coming back to the aorta at the CBT line. Uh, there are various combination techniques to benefit from each technique strength. They can be combined with the same operation. Z-buff MOF combination has Z-buff within the CPB circuit and MOF in its uh, dedicated circuit isolated during the CPB and the opened after the weaning. Cough MOF can be combined using two independent circuit. Original combination uh, models required physical manipulation alteration of the circuit which add complexity and risk of the error embolism to end halifax method or simple modified ultrafiltration published in 2000 and uh, popularized vm of configuration which allowed cough or z buff without circuit modification Simple modified ultrafiltration schematic tubing clamp is engaged to exclude the bypass circuit after the patient is weaned from the CPB and MOF has been started. During bypass, the venous line would be left open to allow the cardiopulmonary bypass as well as the ultrafiltration. Total line denotes the deoxygenated blood. Here, the clamp is uh, applied at the venous side when uh, MOF is start and if CPB is start then clamp is removed so that circuit will pa uh, pass the CPB and uh, CPB can run easily while MOF here is uh, uh, from venous side roller passes blood passes from roller pump ultra filtrate filtrate and uh, again passes into the oxygenator and goes into the aorta. Advantages of the hemofiltration in pediatric cardiac surgery decreases in the total body water, tissue edema, high postoperative hematocrit, less postoperative bleeding, coagulopathy, postoperative blood, and the product requirements. Better hemodynamics, including cardiac output, preload recruitable, stroke work, less cyanotropic requirement, higher systemic arterial pressure, and improved in the pulmonary compliance, less ventilation dependent days, and less uh, hospital length of stay, less production of the thromboxane, activation of the cytokine release of activated complement factors and vasoactive substance, decreased pleural effusion, better plasma protein and fibrinogen level. Uh, effect of ultrafiltration on the total body water, post-operative blood flows and the transfusion requirements. CPB leads to the 11 to 18 percent of the increase in the total body water which causes organ dysfunction, drawback of the cough, inconsistent reduction in the total body water and transfusion requirement. Nike et al. studied effect of MOF and 50 children open heart surgery, duration 10 minutes, surrogate hematocrit 36 to 42 percent, systolic and diastolic pressure better in the MOF group. Uh, he observed 24 hour blood loss in control group 19.5 ml per kg in MOF 12.5 ml while blood transfuse were 15.5 ml per kg in the control while in MOF group very less 3 ml per kg and total body water loss was uh, percentage rise was 11 percent in control while in MOF only 4 percent total body water rise. Other studies also suggest the similar data. Use of MAF results in increase in the hematocrit post-operatively which translate into the less red cell transfusion. Uh, effect on the coagulation system, normal homeostasis and avoidance of the thrombosis or bleeding relies on balance of the procoagulant and the anticoagulant factors. CPB exposure causes dilute the clotting factors, uh, stimulate the complement activation inflammation, endothelial dysfunction and alter the extensive coagulation pathway. <clears throat> this leads to the CPB related coagulopathy at time of the birth. Healthy neonates have roughly 50% of the concentration of the factor 2, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, antithrombin 3, plasminogen, protein C, and the protein S. Moreover, small intravascular volume of the neonate or the low weight infant exposure of the CPB prime volume leads to the significant hemodilution of the, these factors and the platelet by 70% and coagulation factors by the 50% in the disrupt coagulation balance. Premature babies, ductal dependent circulation, reduced cardiac output, hepatic dysfunction and sepsis are at even higher risk for the hemorrhagic and the thrombotic complications. MOF hemoconcentrate to target endpoint of the hematocrit 40% may require higher flow and the longer CPB duration. 
RBC platelet prothrombin uh, of the 70k Dalton, fibrinogen 340k Dalton and albumin 65k Dalton are larger than the membrane pore size of 60 to 65k Dalton are con concentrated on uh, the MOF. While smaller coagulation factors like thrombox, uh, thrombin 39k Dalton, factor 9, 55 and the factor 10, 38k Dalton are loosed in the ultrafiltration. Few studies suggest MOF concentration of the platelet fibrinogen and coagulation factors translate in 50 to 80 percent of uh, reduction in the RBC transfusion and reduce the post-operative blood loss, particularly in patients who are smaller than 10 kg subject to hypothermia, hypothermia or the required peri periods of the low and the intermediate CPB flow. Effect on the fluid balance, fluid overload in the open heart surgery may be due to preoperative heart failure, uh, inotropy, uh, in intravenous fluid, CPB prime, cardioplegia, operative field irrigation fluid, IV medication administered and the blood product res uh, res uh, resuscitation. A larger retrospective study of 1540 patients uh, by the Grease tell suggests that significant increase in the mortality and positive fluid balance uh, and most significant in neonates smaller than the 6 kg. However, extreme negative balance more than 40 ml negative balance per kg had a higher mortality. It is unclear of whether casual relationship between the positive fluid balance and the mortality or whether the fluid balance is of due to the resuscitation of the blood preoperatively due to the cardiopulmonary dysfunction related to the primary cardiac pathology. Uh, substantial lack of the ultra filtration volume target to achieve the negative or the zero balance could be the reason for heterogeneity of the results in various studies. Only few studies consider the ultra filtered volume in relation to overall operative fluid balance. Like ultra filtered volume target either the 30 to 40, uh, 30 percent to 130 percent of the total body, the total fluid uh, in uh, input, or 80 percent to 100 percent of the total prime volume or the equal to the cardioplegia volume plus the 40 to 70 ml per kg. Either of these things can be applied for the particular amount of the volume to be uh, uh, removed by the ultra filtration can help in uh, negating this uh, heterogeneity of the results. MOF endpoint uh, time point between the 10 to 20 minutes, uh, preset hemat uh, hematocrit goal or depletion of the venous reservoir but again not considering the net fluid balance. Cuff uh, endpoint is when rewarming completes. Uh, effect on inflammation, CPB associated source significant hypotension with the uh, distributive pattern, vasoplegia, and pulmonary dysfunction. Three pro inflammatory stimuli unique to the OHS and uh, CPB are uh, non endothelial uh, circuit uh, of the CPB. Uh, and uh, hypoxemia, tissue ischemia due to the CPB leads to the cellular death and release the pro-inflammatory signals and uh, uh, the endoxemia uh, from the gram-negative bacteria that opportunistically trans uh, translocate from the uh, intestinal lining uh, during the uh, relative gut ischemia with the CPB. This process stimulates action of the nuclear factors kappa B, particularly in the leukocytes and the production of the pro-inflammatory cytokines interleukin uh, 1, 6 and 8 and the tumor necrotic factor alpha. Uh, the end product is uh, leukocyte extravasation, increased endothelial permeability and the interstitial edema, cardiopulmonary dysfunction, vasodilatation, increase in the oxygen consumption, risk factors for morbidity, neonates smaller infants under 1.8 kg, ductal dependent circulation, cyto, uh, cyanotic defect, reduced ventilatory functions and pre uh, reduced ventricular function and the pre-existing multi-organ dysfunction are risk factors. Genoise et al. applied Zadwolf during the rewarming significant removal of the TNF mild myeloperoxidase and the complement 3A interleukin 1, 6 and 8 with additional benefit of decreased ventilation and the ICU length of stay and the hospital length of stay dampening the CPB related acute pulmonary injury. Complement 3A and bradykinin due to the smaller size and larger amount production are removed during the hem hemofiltration. Bradykinin is potent vasodilator and increased capillary permeability so removal of it will benefit. Huang at, uh, uh, and colleagues observed that MOF uh, 
uh, interleukin 6 significantly lowered thromboxane B2 effects was mild and endothelial 1 level uh, unaffected while uh, Bendo et al observed e uh, endothelin 1 level significantly lower with the MOF. Cuff and MOF significantly reduce the interleukin 8. Uh, high flow long duration MOF significantly removed interleukin 6 and but not the tumor necrotic factor alpha. Yet Gard et al found significantly reduction in the endotoxin with MOF. Endothelin is responsible for the fever and SARS. Ultrafiltration not only remove adversely circulating pro-inflammatory agent but also filter the protective agents like interleukin 10 which serves to inhibit the interleukin 8 and the tumanocrating factors. Hemofilters made of polyamide or the polysulfan material normally and polyamide removes the interleukin 10 also but polysulfone removes interleukin 6 during the cough and TNF during the MOF but interleukin 10 level does not decrease with it that is beneficial effect of the MOF. Uh, to conclude ZBOF is more effective at removing anti-inflammatory <coughs> of removing the inflammatory mediators and uh, uh, dampening the severity of CPB associated acute pulmonary injury. Most ultrafiltration have size cut of uh, 60 to 65 k dalton. Tumor necrotic factor alpha in its uh, soluble form is uh, 17 k dalton via with 51 k dalton trimeric for trimeric form and interleukin 1 alpha and interleukin 1 beta is of 17 uh, while interleukin 8 complement 3 and c5 are of 10 k delta therefore theoretical all these factors are removed by the ultrafiltration <coughs> Effect on the myocardial function, benefit of ultrafiltration prevent is a prevention and a reversal of the CPB is related myocardial edema, inflammatory syndrome and the fluid overload. MOF significantly improved uh, the global LV function including systolic pressure, diastolic blood pressure, LV ejection fraction, preload recruitable stroke work, uh, stroke index, uh, contractility, LV diastolic compliance and the LV wall thickness. Cardiac index, stroke volume index, myocardial performance index and the fractional shortening are also improved. And there are two negative studies which does not show beneficial effect of the uh, this uh, on the mainly small and the under uh, power so may not be significant. Nyketel used 10 to 15 minutes of the MOF with target of hematocrit 35 percent and the uh, no inotrope or the no vasodilator used for 30 minutes and recorded LA and the RA pressures, mean arterial pressure, pulmonary pressures, uh, peak airway pressure continu continuously monitored with the cardiac output using the electromagnetic uh, flow probe positioned around the aorta and they observed. 40% increase in the cardiac index and the blood pressure, decrease in the heart rate and the pulmonary vascular resistance, fentanyl concentration remains in the therapeutic range thus does not participate in the hemodynamic Im improvement. <coughs> the same is uh, figureized in this figure. Uh, Martin J. Glover et al. hypothesized that improvement in the myocardial contactivity was related to the reduction in the myocardial water content. They utilized epicardial ultrasonic transducer positioned directly on the LV to measure the short axis dimension of the LV and the Miller catheter was placed into the LV to measure the pressure, thus permitting the pressure volume loops. Cable venous occlusion was used to vary the pressure loads, thus allow the calculation of the preload recruitable stroke work in Myocardial water contents estimated by the epicardial echo before and the MOF. This technique also assess the LV glow geometry. They observed that reduction of the myocardial wall volume due to the decreased myocardial edema and improvement in the myocardial contractility and the diastolic function. Uh, figure so is the preload recruitable stroke work indicates before and the after CPB. Before CPB, there is a uh, uh, dimension is more and uh, af uh, after CPB this dimension reduced and the function will improve, myocardial contractility will improve. <coughs> Ultrafiltration and pulmonary mechanics, acute pulmonary injury with the CPB mediated inflammatory response, third spacing <coughs> and fluid overload leading to the increased ventilatory support and the, the ICU length of stay. MOF alter, uh, attenuates this uh, by removing volume load and the reduces the hydrostatic pressure and the pulmonary edema. MOF also increases the static and the dynamic pulmonary compliance while decreases the alveolar arterial oxygen gradient, pulmonary to systemic arterial pressure ratio, respiratory index and airway resistance will also reduced. 
Pulmonary physiology most enhanced by use of the Z-buff morph combination by 50% reduction in the endothelin 1 and uh, other cytokines leads uh, to the reduced in the pulmonary vascular resistance and endothelin 1 is a potent pulmonary vasoconstrictor and uh, removal of uh, excess fluid will also occur. Z-buff promotes the improved pulmonary function as filtration occurs from beginning to the end of the inflammatory insult of the CPB. Uh, hemodynamic effect of MOF improves the systolic blood pressure, diastolic and the mean blood pressure while reducing the heart rate and the CVP uh, and ionotropic requirement. Cuff MOF and Z-buff MOF combination are having more beneficial effect on the hemodynamics. Some studies show negative results or no change also. Uh, cerebral metabolism, effect of the MOF on the CMRO2 uh, cerebral metabolic rate of oxygen and the oxygen delivery after deep hypothermic circulatory RS. CMRO2 significantly above the baseline in the MOF group weak, uh, high CMRO2 may require to repay the oxygen debt that occurred during the DSCA. After the MOF, cerebral oxygen delivery and the consumption increase which indicates brain is recovering uh, from the metabolic dysfunction after DHCA. MOF improved brain uh, oxygen utilization by reducing cerebral edema, removing toxic substances and altering the uh, leukocyte mediated ischemic reperfusion injury. Effect of uh, MOF uh, fluoride as per radio, uh, Rodriguez study, MOF fluoride more than 20 ml causes reduction in the middle cerebral artery velocity and the cerebral venous oxygen saturation to extract a higher blood volume from the infant aorta from into the MOF circuit causes the greater diastolic runoff from the aorta and uh, this effect might be amplified in younger infants with smaller circulatory blood volume and short anatomical distance between the head vessels and the aorta which causes the carotid still. Effect of MOF on drugs, heparin, molecular weight of 15,000 Dalton easily filtered out and reduced its concentration but heparin concentration could not uh, decrease and uh, may be increased with the due to the hemoconcentration if exceeds filtration loss as heparin is highly negative charged it forms the closed protein bound and thus prevent you know, preventing any filtration and heparin swing decreases with the reducing temperature. Bivalirudin is a reversible direct thrombin inhibitor, is a molecular anticoagulant with short half-life and poten uh, potential to remove the 45% to 65% of the drug using the MOF. So when bivalirudin is used, MOF will benefit to remove the effect of bivalirudin and uh, help in the uh, achieving the coagulation after coming of the bypass. MOF is used to filter this end, uh, at the end of the CPB period. Fentanyl, no significant change, it can increase with the hemoconcentration by the MOF. <coughs> MOF versus cuff, MOF more volume removes uh, higher hematocrit but no change in the LV fractional shortening, significant improvement in arterial oxygenation, airway resistance and lung compliance but beneficial effects lost over a period of time. MOF necessitate additional period of the extracorporeal circulation at a very sensitive point of time when infant is just coming off bypass. <clears throat> Efficacy of combining cough and MOF for removal of inflammatory mediators is of controversial. Which patient benefit from MOF? To say, Bando K at L studied 100 complex congenital cardiac surgery either using the cuff or the MOF and observed that with MOF, better systemic pressure immediate period, pulmonary pressure significantly lower with the initial 12 hours, hematocrit significantly improved, but on arrival in the ICU, no difference, reduces aorta, uh, alveolar arterial oxygen gradient, shorten the ventilation duration, significantly lower requirement of the blood and the blood products. Striking benefits seen in the children with pre-op uh, pulmonary hypertension, neonates, prolonged CPB, use of the DSCA, etc. patients. Problem with MOF, hematocrit themselves are plastic, non endothelial, <coughs> hemofilter themselves are plastic, non endothelial surface can induce the cytokine release, same as the CPB circuit. It can alter level of the some drug like the heparin, which affect the pro, uh, protamine reversal after the surgery, and decrease in the body temperature during MOF can be deleterious in the uh, immediate post operative period. MOF is carried at a time point of time when a patient is just off bypass, relatively unstable. 
not at present no absolute contraindication to ultrafiltration hypersensitivity extremely rare and use of the mf filtration is beneficial rather than the harmful ultra filtration and hemodialysis in the ecmo critically ill patients undergoing long term ecmo often present with the fluid overload due to the renal insufficiency or the failure because the circuit close to the ecmo and the patient is only on partial bypass they are still dependent on the their native cardiac output if too much fluid is removed from this vascular space during the uh, ultra filtration the patient may become hypovolemic and causing the decrease in the ecmo flow and patient native cardiac output will reduce the basic principle to connect the filter in the ecmo circuit is to higher pre, uh, uh, is from higher pressure to lower pressure and to avoid the return after oxygenator as air can go in patient directly if we doesn't do the this to summarize ultra filtration uh, dampen cpb induced toxic response reduces the bleeding anotrope use ventilation time and the icu length of stay mof is having relatively superiority regarding the cardiac function related to fluid removal not related to anesthetic washout and reducing the bleeding complications mof is beneficial for restoration of the cerebral metabolism after dhca Z-buff decreases the inflammatory response on the CPB circuit and prevent the acute pulmonary injury. Cough with MOF combination immediate improvement in oxygenation indices and pulmonary mechanics, but these beneficial effects may not be sustained into the post-operative period may after 12 hours. It is not clear that MOF has any advantage over the aggressive cough in terms of the pulmonary mechanics. preoperative ph neonates and those who have prolonged cpb or dhca most likely benefits from the ultra filtration and this discrepancy uh, and the uh, discrepancies in the results could be explained by heterogeneity of the studies regarding the patient population ultra filtration protocol myocardial protection strategies bypass protocols icu protocols and difference in the expert opinion thank you